Hey everyone, Faisal here from Solaris Kit. So at Solaris Kit, we developed uh, a really different way of converting solar energy into heat using these solar collectors that you can see uh, behind me. So they're actually a solar collector which I invented to provide carbon-free hot water to homes in Africa. But what actually happened uh, about a year or two ago is that we got all these inquiries from people saying, can we use your solar collectors to heat our hot tub? Because energy costs are going up and it'd be really cool if we could just make our hot tubs a little bit more environmentally friendly uh, to run. So we started working on whether or not uh, our solar collectors are a good fit for heating a hot tub. And it turned out to be a really good way of using our solar collectors, especially here uh, in the UK with, with our climate. So if you haven't seen our solar collectors before, um, this is how they look when they're fully assembled. Uh, we actually make them as a flat packed kit. So uh, we actually make them uh, in the factory behind me in Dundee, Scotland uh, as these flat packed kits. So you can kind of think of them as the IKEA solution uh, to solar hot water. So they're basically a box about you know, half a meter by half meter uh, in size. And the general idea is you would assemble the solar collector in around 30 minutes without any tools. Uh, and once it's built, you basically have a device which turns sunlight directly into heat, which could then be used to heat water. Uh, and that water could be from a hot tub. So what we've got set up uh, here in front of our factory is um, actually an inflatable hot tub, uh, which we're currently heating with uh, the four solar collectors uh, that you can see uh, behind me. So the hot tub is actually just shown uh, here. So it's a, a pretty standard uh, cozy spa uh, hot tub, uh, fits around four people. Uh, and as you can see, we've got a, a pretty decent day. I mean, it's been a bit mixed. It's Scotland, so uh, good weather doesn't tend to last too long, unfortunately. Uh, but um, in this video, what I'll do is I'll just quickly run through how the, the whole system works. So like I said, we've got a, uh, a standard hot tub, it's an inflatable, so our, our solar heating kit's compatible with both inflatable and uh, your standard uh, hot tubs. Uh, and of course, the, the key component of a solar heating system is the solar collectors, which uh, I was showing you before. So basically the idea is, what we do is we circulate water from the, the hot tub directly through uh, a bank of solar collectors. Now, the way it works is the water comes to the first solar collector, gets heated up uh, a little, uh, then it pumps into the second collector, gets heated up a bit more, and then basically that process repeats until we get to our fourth and final solar collector. Uh, and then what happens is we just circulate that water from the fourth and final collector back to the hot tub. Now, for this all to work, we obviously need uh, a pump uh, to circulate the water from the hot tub through the bank of solar collectors. So what we actually found is that uh, a little 12 volt DC pump um, actually does the job really well and it has the advantage that it doesn't consume too much energy. Uh, it's about 13 watts, which is kind of like running a light bulb, uh, really. And because it's 12 volts, it's also really safe. Uh, to operate, especially because we've got uh, water involved. So uh, that 12 volts is really low voltage, so uh, it won't do any harm uh, to anyone should something uh, go wrong. So what we did is we created uh, something called the HT100 kit. Uh, and that includes basically uh, a number of solar collectors. So we typically find either four or six collectors, depending on the size of your, your hot tub and your location. It includes a 12 volt DC pump with a, uh, a slight modification. We added a, an IP rated uh, plug to it all. Uh, and uh, a really key component for all of this is the controller, which is turning the pump on and off at the right times. So we actually developed um, our own solar controller, uh, which again runs off 12 volts uh, DC. Uh, and it doesn't, we just mounted it on a bit of metal here. Uh, and that's what the controller looks like. So it's actually an IP rated enclosure. It's IP67. So um, as you can see, we've just got it installed uh, outside. So it's completely sealed up. So it's all, it's all good. And what we tried to do is make the, the whole operation 
uh, as simple as possible. So basically, once it's all connected and we've got a, a really detailed step-by-step -step video on YouTube, you can, you can watch to see the whole um, installation process. Once all the sensors are installed, so we've got two temperature sensors measuring the temperature of the hot tub, one temperature sensor measuring uh, the soil collectors, uh, and the algorithms just uh, all on the PCB. So it basically works out exactly right, the right temperatures to switch the pump on and off. So what we decided to do to make the whole thing really simple is just have uh, a really simple indicator. So I'm not sure if you can see it because of the, the sun. Um, so basically you can see uh, an LED flashing at the moment. So that basically tells us that uh, the pump's on uh, and we're actually heating up the, the hot tub. When there's no sun or the hot tub has reached its temperature, uh, basically what happens is that flashing light turns into a solid light uh, to show that I'm powered up, I'm all ready uh, to go, but I'm not pumping right now because, because the conditions uh, haven't been met. So it's a really simple uh, enclosure. Uh, it basically just tells you whether or not I'm pumping uh, or not, uh, and whether or not you're, you're heating your, your hot tub. Now, um, our solar heating system is designed to just run completely in parallel uh, to what other heating source you have. So whether it's wood uh, or electricity, uh, basically our solar heating system can work uh, completely in parallel to it. Uh, you don't have to make any changes at all uh, to, to that system uh, because what we do is we basically drop that little 12 volt DC pump either into the hot tub or we can just circulate it from uh, the drain valve of the hot tub, circulate the water through to the soil collectors and then what we can do is just have one little hose that kind of drops into the hot tub to get your hot water uh, back to the hot tub. So you don't have to touch any of the other um, systems or the electrics uh, and we've designed it so it's a completely DIY installation uh, as well. So uh, when you buy the kit, there's a little QR code, you can scan the QR code, gets you, uh, gets you to our little step-by-step -step video, uh, and you can just follow um, us installing your own solar heating system for your hot tub, which we think is pretty cool. So we find that, um, you know, generally speaking, you know, around one to one and a half solar collectors per person uh, is about right. Uh, even in the UK. If you live in a really sunny part of the world, you could probably get away with a little bit less than that. But as a general rule of thumb, we would say one collector uh, per person using a hot tub. So we've got a four person hot tub. Uh, we'd recommend at the very minimum having four of our solar collectors uh, heating up your, your hot tub. So hopefully this video has been uh, useful. Uh, gives you a bit of an idea of how you could heat your hot tub using solar energy. Uh, we find from our experience, even in Scotland, it's actually a, a really good way of, of heating a hot tub. Uh, with those four collectors, we can actually heat that hot tub to about 35 degrees Celsius. If on a day like today, even though it's you know, pretty mixed, um, the nice thing about uh, solar thermal collectors is that uh, they don't need uh, direct or beam radiation uh, to, to work. So even if you have a mixed cloudy day or if it's, uh, you know, as we like to say the light's a bit diffuse when the light uh, is going through some clouds, um, solar thermal collectors can still uh, scavenge that, that energy. Um, I'll probably just talk really quickly as well uh, about how all the connections are made. So again, we try to make it uh, as simple as possible using these really simple push fit style uh, fittings. So um, as you can see with all the connections, uh, we don't have any threaded joints. Uh, we don't have to worry about adhesives or, or anything like that. So you literally just slide the fitting on uh, and you've actually got a really strong seal. We've actually tested these fittings to like 20 bar uh, and they can hold pressure. Um, obviously much, much higher than the pressure of these systems. Uh, so uh, a really simple system to, uh, to install. Um, and yeah, a key thing is, is that you don't need any experience uh, to actually install uh, the, the system. Basically, anyone who can follow some instructions uh, can uh, install the, the, the system. Now, what's also quite different about our solution is because we use these prismatic shaped soil collectors, um, you can basically place them just anywhere where it's sunny. So it could be the ground, it could be 
you know, a little rooftop or a gazebo or um, anywhere within about a 10 meter radius of the, the hot tub. And as long as it's sunny and unshaded, uh, that's the ideal location. Uh, with our small little 12 volt DC pump, we can actually handle having the collectors uh, a couple of meters high uh, as well. It's a, it's a really efficient pump with uh, quite a lot of circulation head on it. So um, there's no issues there whatsoever for, for the pump to, to handle a situation like that. So um, as you can see, um, it's a really simple system and our little controller that we've got here just basically automates the, the whole process uh, as well. Once it's switched on, uh, you really just don't have to worry about anything. It takes care of the rest and automates the whole heating process. Uh, so you don't have to worry about the pump running at night time or when it's cloudy or when this is actually, or when the hot tubs actually reach temperature and you're worried about it uh, possibly overheating uh, as well. It just stops the heating process once it reaches uh, temperature. So uh, yeah, hopefully that was a, a useful video. If you've got any questions or uh, comments, uh, please add them to the video or get in touch uh, via our website at solariskit.com. All right, thanks very much everyone for watching and I'll see you at the next video. Bye for now.